Okay, hi guys, welcome to the Street Manager training video. We are logged in here as a HA and we're going to run through how to raise a historic inspection and a historic FPN on works. Okay, really important stuff today, Kat. Um, easily overlook this. So if you go into inspections, so, so what we've got here, um, if, if you can just uh, scroll down for me. So what, what we've got here is um, I need to raise a cat B inspection um, in three months time, say, when, when street managers, you know, fully embedded, we're past the transition. If you can click on add inspection to historical works, um, I want to put this cat B inspection on street manager. I'm required to, but I don't have the job in street manager. So what we're going to do is we have to, um, in, in, essentially, we have to create a little works um, to then add this inspection against. But it's quite a fluid journey, as we'll see. So um, what we'll do is, um, if you can put in um, an, an area here, please, Kat, doesn't matter, it can be anywhere. First Avenue, a classic. The sure. classic. And if you scroll down, yeah, brilliant. And then drop the pin of where you are working. Not working, obviously, where you're doing this inspection. So I'm the local authority doing this. We're logged in as a local authority, a highway authority, um, and we're saying where the inspection is. So if you go down to the bottom, yeah, that's great. Continue. Right, historical work details. So who is the person that did these works? That's just say it's, um, well, why break with tradition, Cat? Let's say it's Cadence. So if you start typing in Cadence, there you go. And you 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 would know, Kat, what the reference number was. So we don't have one in this test scenario. So just put in whatever you like. But you would obviously know what the reference was. Um, we ask you to put in the permit location description just to help the, the promoter find it. Um, so if you, um, yeah, lovely. Um, could be more helpful, but that will do in this test scenario. And you've got the option of saying um, a description. So, you know, over the API, it's very easy to um, pull through the original description of works, for instance. So you might not do that in the user interface, but, you know, you could say new supply or whatever. And it's all just about helping the promoter find their works. And again, the dates would be easy enough to pull through from the, um, the API. So we put it into the UI as well. But, you know, really, as long as you've got that works reference, you should be able to find the job that they are talking about. Um, so if you um, continue now. Now, really, this is like see previous video, to be honest, Kat, because we're now just into the, uh, the usual um, inspection flow. What, so we've done these couple of extra screens up front. So now we can just say, well, it's a, a, a reinstatement inspection. It is a category B, like I said, category C, yeah, that's fine. Um, what date am I in? So I don't even know, Kat, if we, we, we might as well go through to the end. Um, so yeah, yesterday we were doing this um, um, at 10 o'clock. Fantastic stuff. Um, this passed, just a cat B that passed, continue. Um, optional, optional, schedule a reinspection, no, because it passed. Um, I could submit some nice evidence, but I won't. And then if you, yeah, go on, go ahead and submit this one, cat, and then we'll see what it, uh, what the message it gives us. So what we've done there, so if you go to view works record, cat. What we've essentially done is created this historical works, this like dummy works record to then do inspections underneath. And then if you scroll down, um, you can see that we can um, add further inspections here, you know. Um, so uh, we, we can issue an FPN if we wanted to, we can add files. Uh, so, so now we've got our dummy, we can do all the normal things, you know, we can create comments against it and all that stuff. Um, so it's not perfect that we have to do that bit of extra work up front as an inspector, but it gets the job into the system uh, and, we, and we can crack on then, you know. So um, there we go. 
uh, inspections on historic works in street manager. Okay, so now let's have a quick look at the FPN journey. Um, we won't go through the whole of this because we've looked at it on another video, which I'll link down below, um, but just to show how you would do it on a historic work. Yeah, so it's the same principle, really. So six penalty notices. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, just like we did before, issue FPN to historical works. So again, we um, I'll let you type in First Avenue here whilst I'm talking, Pat. So again, we um, we want to put in an inspection, an inspection, an FPN on a job, um, and, and it's you know a month, two months into Street Manager, um, and we don't want to put it onto the the Eden system. So here we go. And of course, what we can also, so again, you know, I'll let you, um, it's, it's the same screens basically, Kat. So if you fill this in, um, the, the, the important thing as well for this functionality is that this is how in Street Manager, you record an inspection for working without a permit. That's probably the more useful um, scenario of using this um, uh, functionality, I would say. Um, so you're going to go in and of course, so your reference might be not applicable um, or working without a permit number one or whatever, because you don't know what the, uh, the reference is because you can't find a valid permit. So here we will go regulation 19 cat. Um, we won't fill the rest of it in, but this is how you would do your working without a permit FPNs in street manager guys. So quite uh, an important um, video, this one, I would say.